Hey guys, I'm out on vacation, but because of technology, I actually sent myself here into the future through this thing called the interwebs, and here we are. I've had a lot of people ask, how do I get my slide tone because of some past episodes and some things I posted on Instagram, and I wanna run that down with you, so here we go. Here's the breakdown of how and why I play slide the way I do and the pedals that I use to achieve the sound. I got really into it around 2003 and four, kind of early 2000s. Uh, there's a YouTube record called How to Dismantle an Atomic Bomb. The song Miracle Drug and City of Blinding Lights have some really amazing slide parts that aren't very flashy, but they're really melodic. Now, I had learned early on like 12 bar blues kind of, you know, slide stuff. And I'd play that from time to time, but it's not very practical. And what I learned from particularly this U2 record is how practical slide can be when you're tracking a song and trying to come up with something melodic because a slide sounds a lot like a human voice and it's not as irritating as a guitar is in certain parts. Um, another record that was really influential on in how I thought about slide was Coldplay's Live 2003 record. If you listen to songs like uh, See You Soon, he actually uses an Ebo with a slide. Rush of Blood to the Head has a song called Daylight with a really strange slide part. So that's kind of my motivation for how I've stuck with using slide as a melodic thing over the years. And here's how I approach it. Uh, first off is I use a glass slide. Uh, people use metal ones, but you know, I just like glass, I don't know why. I use my ring finger. A lot of people use the pinky finger, but I have giant fingers. They're like the size of baseball bats. And I just feel that this is more comfortable for me to each his own, but this is my thing. And so obviously the slide frets the notes. You kind of lay the slide on top of the strings. You don't push down and you have to deaden the back of the note. And what I mean by that is uh, if I'm playing a note like this, there's a lot of noise there. Uh, but I use my middle and my first finger to deaden the back side of that. So that's step one. I use a Jazz Master or a Telecaster to play slide pretty much all the time because I love the bridge position. Uh, they're usually hot pickups. They're single coils that cuts through. I find that humbuckers just don't do it for me with a slide and they add a lot of mid range, especially something like this Elliott Tone Master or really any of my Jazz Masters, just a lot of mid range and that plays into my effects lineup. So the first thing in my slide rig is always a low gain overdrive. So I have a Morning Glory here and we'll turn it on, let you hear just it's just a really light gain, no mid hump or anything going on, kind of transparent buzzword tone. The next thing that has to always be in the slide chain is a Klon Centaur after the other drives. A lot of times I actually have a fuzz pedal here or here, and the Klon is always the last drive in my chain because I use the drive up to about 75%, which is really odd. Most people use it as a clean pedal. I don't like it like that. Treble at noon and volume to taste, a little bit of boost, and it adds a lot more mid-range. So I have mid-range coming from the humbucker of the Jazzmaster or Tele, and then when I step on the Klon, it's just like a lot more of this. And I love this because this cuts through. So I'm gonna play with the Morning Glory here and my beautiful assistant, Nick, uh, his hand is there. He's gonna switch on that Klon. It's gonna be like magic. You're gonna be like, how'd it turn on? And it's Nick. Ready? Here we go. It's super gooey, rich. There's all kinds of fun buzzwords. Chunky, mid-range, thick. Yeah. Next is super important, and it is that there has to be some reverb and delay because both those records that I referenced, they're kind of slathered in reverb and ambience and a lot of delay. And I, I like that because it adds to this element that the slide is this bigger, than guitar kind of aspect. It like is another instrument paired with your guitar. And so I'm using the Dispatch Master. I have it set with a big hall reverb 
and then I have a quarter note delay. So that pedal does both. Um, I typically use a couple stack pedals on my board, but this sounds fantastic. And you could honestly use this as like your standalone slide tone for what I do. Here it is. I'll hit a mute and let you hear the decay. So you hear the echo and you hear that coming through. Um, and here it is. It's kind of the whole thing. Thanks so much for watching this mini episode as we're doing a little vacation time. Next week will be another one of these. It's really, really cool. And then that next week, it'll be full blast, regular kind of content. And I think you're going to love it. It's some of my favorite stuff we've ever done. If you like this episode, hit like, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to get notifications of all these future episodes that are coming up. In the comments below, I'd love to know what you think about this slide sound, the technique. Just throw out your opinions and also tell me how you play slide. Tell me what your pedals are and what your amp is, all that good stuff. And uh, I'll see you next week. Have a good one.